Uh, today we have a Dell laptop here, and we're going to show you how to address the following issues. Uh, your computer is either not turning on, turning on but freezing, or turning on and then turning off. Uh, now with any computer repair, there's usually a troubleshooting diagnostic process involved. That's because usually there's multiple possible reasons why your computer is doing what it's doing. So we got to figure out which one it is so we know which one to fix. Uh, general rule of thumb with this process, you go for the easiest or the cheapest repair first, diagnose for that, and if that doesn't help you out, then you move on to more expensive, more uh, complex repairs. Uh, ho hopefully that saves you some time. So in the case here today, again, Dell computer not turning on, freezing, or turning itself off. If you have other symptoms, you need an another video. Uh, some commonly misunderstood reasons people are watching this, if your computer is turning on but the screen staying black, go into the description video 1, that will be a fix for that. Or if your computer is turning on but getting into a, a boot loop where it just keeps recycling through, that's video number 2 in the description. This is specifically for the issues mentioned earlier. So first thing you want to do, unplug your charger, flip your computer over, and take your battery out. Now, if your battery didn't come out quite that easily, if you don't have a little clip, or sometimes there's two and your battery just slides out, you could have an internal battery uh, that's a little harder to get to. Go into the description, look at video three, and that'll give you an idea how to access that. But after you remove the battery and the charger, hold your power button down for one minute. Many of you, if you've ever called into a warranty repair uh, phone number, they'll have you do this, the first step usually all the time. Uh, this is draining any static from your machine. You can get static a variety of ways. Maybe you're using a bad search protector that needs to be replaced. Maybe you're not using one at all. Uh, maybe your battery's going bad, your charger's going bad. Or you could be just using your computer around sources of static too often. Uh, you could be using it in bed, around pillows and blankets too much. Your cat could be sleeping on it too much. Any, any of these things could cause a, a slow buildup of static. That, that could affect the way your uh, computer works. So after you've held that down for a minute, go ahead and put your battery back in. Uh, plug your charger back in as well. And now try to turn your computer on. If your computer turns on, it means all it was was a static buildup and you fixed it. Try to limit those things we talked about earlier. If your computer is not turning on at this point, now we're gonna check your charger and your battery. So unplug your charger again, take your battery out again, we're going to go ahead and hold the power button down for another minute. After that minute, we're going to put your battery back into the computer. Uh, don't plug your charger in though, we're going to leave that unplugged and try turning your computer on. If your computer turns on, it means that the computer itself is fine and your battery is fine. It means your charger is probably going bad. Uh, sometimes when a computer senses that a, a, a charger or a battery is going bad, it'll stop itself from turning on to avoid damage. Uh, so we've identified that it wasn't turning on because of your charger, so replace that. If it's still not turning on, we're going to repeat the process now for your battery. See if that's the problem. So take your battery out. Hold the power button down for another minute. After a minute, we're going to go ahead and put your charger in, but leave the battery out. Uh, try turning on your computer. If it turns on at this point, same thing. It means your charger's good, your computer's good, the battery needs to be replaced. Now, if after these steps your computer is still not turning on, then we need to decide which avenue we're going to go to to continue troubleshooting this machine. And that's going to depend on the exact symptoms of your computer. Now if your computer is turning on but freezing, or if it's turning on and then turning itself back off, we're going to go one avenue. Uh, look at video four in the description. That'll show you how to perform a BIOS reset on your computer. If that doesn't work, look at video five. That will show you how to factory reset your computer. However, if your computer is not turning on at all and giving no signs of life, we're going to go the other avenue with troubleshooting. Uh, check out video four, the BIOS reset. Try that first. But if that doesn't work, check out video 6 in the description. It'll show you how to test your charger and make sure that your charger is getting the right amount of power from the wall outlet to this tip. 
if this is confirmed working after that video and, and, and it's delivering the right amount of power here, look at video seven in the description. That'll show you how to test your power jack. If your power jack sometimes breaks, this will be delivering the right amount of power to it, but it just won't be supplying your motherboard with anything. So you would check that next. Uh, please like and share if this video was helpful. Uh, please leave any messages or, or, or comments if you got lost or need any clarification. And uh, please subscribe if you enjoy do-it-yourself computer repair. Thanks for watching.